Crop Yield from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at www.wikipedia.org. In agriculture, crop yield, also known as agricultural output, refers to both the measure of the yield of a crop per unit area of land cultivation and the seed generation of the plant itself. If three grains are harvested for each grain seeded, the resulting yield is one to three. The figure one to three is considered by agronomists as the minimum required to sustain human life. One of the three seeds must be set aside for the next planting season, the remaining two either consumed by the grower or one for human consumption and the other for livestock feed. The higher the surplus, the more livestock can be established and maintained, thereby increasing the physical and economic well-being of the farmer and his family. This, in turn, resulted in better stamina, better overall health, and better, more efficient work. In addition, the more the surplus, the more draft animals, horse and oxen, could be supported and harnessed to work, and manure the soil, thereby easing the farmer's burden. Increased crop yields meant few hands were needed on farm, freeing them for industry and commerce. This, in turn, led to the formation and growth of cities. Formation and growth of cities meant an increased demand for foodstuffs by non-farmers and their willingness to pay for it. This, in turn, led the farmer to further innovation, more intensive farming, the demand creation of new and or improved farming implements, and a quest for improved seed which improved crop yield thus allowing the farmer to raise his income by bringing more food to non-farming city markets. Measurement The unit by which the yield of a crop is measured is kilograms per hectare or bushels per acre. History Historically speaking, a major increase in crop yield took place in the early 18th century with the end of the ancient wasteful cycle of the three-course system of crop rotation, whereby a third of the land lay fallow every year and hence taken out of human food and animal feed production. It was to be replaced by the four-course system of crop rotation devised in England in 1730 by Charles Townshend, 2nd Viscount Townshend or Turnip Townshend during the British Agricultural Revolution, as he was called by early detractors. In the first year, wheat or oats were planted. In the second year, barley or oats. In the third year, clover, rye, rutabaga, and or kale were planted. In the fourth year, turnips were planted but not harvested. Instead, sheep were driven onto the turnip fields to eat the crop, trample the leavings under their feet into the soil, and by doing all this, fertilize the land with their droppings. In the fifth year, or first year of the new rotation, the cycle began once more with the planting of wheat or oats in an average a 30% increased yield. See also Actual production history Crop rotation Crop failure Green revolution Second green revolution Sustainable agriculture and Yield wine This audio was recorded on October 27, 2018. To report an error or request a change, please send an email to wikiaudio999 at gmail.com.